aki gbogbo wa nile loko lajo eh atuti de gege bi se wa ki la mo wa se ti gbo yin leni nipa oro brother wa mubad ti awon ika eyan ti won se kupa eh mo mu video kan wa eja jo gbo oro ti baba wa iti won so nipa oro mubad nipa nkan to ye ko sele oro yi o je oro gidi eyin ya wa yin baba wa e ma je soro ju e je ajogbo e ma gbagbe lati ba wa share e nitori wi pe mubad o gbodo ri idajo ododo oya e je ka jowo video na e se gan Hi everyday Nigeria. A person that has more than 1 million followers on Instagram, a celebrity of international repute, could be subjected to the kind of torture and torment until culminating in his eventual death. Imagine what happens to any, any commoner. Go to prisons, go to detention facilities. Yeah, injustice is injustice mm -hmm. no matter what shape or forms it comes mm -hmm. when people are flogged out of polling units during elections and are not allowed to vote it is also injustice and if you pay attention to one injustice you must pay attention to the other because the main issue that led, leads to what we have today is a dysfunctional system yes. look everything that happened to mobad and what we are struggling for today could have been prevented if institutions of state were functioning optimally. Yes, yes. Anybody who is trying to separate what happened to Mubad from the failed governance system and institutions that we have would be being very disingenuous. And I will tell you why. That is why you must pay attention because the mother that gave birth to a bad law enforcement system is a bad government. And if you fail to fix the bad government and you are paying attention to the justice, it then means we are just postponing the evil day mm -hmm. where we'll begin to track the trend another hashtag of justice for this. Mm -hmm. Today it is more bad. Tomorrow it will be who? Mm -hmm. Because today's victims mm -hmm. are yesterday's mm -hmm. survivors. Mm -hmm. The dead can no longer die. Mm -hmm. The next set of persons to fight for justice for will be between the living, which is you and I. May the victim card not fall on Amen. us. Let me tell you the reason why. Let us interrogate the actions of the police. Yes. I think we should. Yes. Yes. Mobad submitted a petition to the police on the 27th of June at the FCID in Alagon here yes. in Lagos. Now the police say, the question we should be even asking is, if Mobad had not died, Hmm. Would there be an investigation to that petition I by thought, now? Let us know. I don't think so. Now the police came out and have told us that Mobad was invited and he did, he did not, not show up. Very interesting. A person who was alleging fundamental threats to his life. And then that the alleged perpetrator had the nerves to write a counter petition alleging defamation. <laughs> a boy who came, anybody who looked at Moba, any person who had the slightest human psychology, the, the, the smallest experience of which law enforcement agents should be trained to have, mm -hmm. anybody who saw Moba within the last period of his life would know that this is the person who was living his life in horrific terror, mm -hmm. in unprecedented fear and anxiety. Mm -hmm. For a boy to be in London, out of this country, and requesting for extra security, mm -hmm. imagine what he was facing on the homeland anytime i see that video of when he was standing up from that wheelchair i have not been able to get that image or that scene off my mind mm. because it shows a boy and then the law enforcement agent if he said you he, he was called that he did not come what did you do remember when a certain nigerian politician or presidential candidate was saying we have to make the police force responsible and responsive if we had a responsible and responsive law enforcement agent if when you called him what was the next step that was yes. taken was why did he not come mm. should have been the next mm -hmm. was a letter taken to his residence inviting mm -hmm. him and somebody acknowledged mm. so that you find out I because do. many looking at him i would have presumed that probably this person should have been put into protective custody yes. pending the determination of the petition mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. did you approach the court to get an a order of interim injunction or whatever a restraint order mm -hmm. against whoever that was alleged until the a petition was determined mm -hmm. did you bring in the media as you usually do to say that so 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 person of interest mm -hmm. was called upon after a petition he did not well, show up at least that alone brings some kind of spotlight on the issue mm -hmm. and it takes 
it goes a long way to protect the person mm -hmm. because i was on anti yabo just like yesterday and she said the police said that they are providing protection for the wife and, and the, the son. son good it is a good thing you are providing very wonderful but what about the immediate the full crumb of the matter who approached you with a petition <laughs> what protection was given to him <laughs> it is important that we know yes, sir. now then Fast forward to 12th of September, Tuesday, he had died. Mm -hmm. Immediately, the death of Mubad filtered on the internet. It was like the floodgates of hell was unleashed. Mm -hmm. Videos from every corner. Now we are hearing a landlord from the area saying that they, they, he was allegedly to be buried on the same night. But they resisted and he was buried the next day. It gave ample time that if we had a responsible and responsive law enforcement agent, somebody should have been able to connect the dots between the videos that were circulating to the fact that this body, this disease, is a person of interest mm -hmm. and immediately an instruction should have been given to hold down to maintain status quo until the autopsy is carried out but today now we have to deal with an incident where we have to go and exhume a body after how many days so we are dead we are unfortunately seeking for justice from the same institutions that failed to protect the life in the first place because the primary responsibility of government is the protection of life and property and not fighting for justice for the dead and their families so it is better to protect life than fight for justice for the dead because at it is now one of the major justices i am praying for mobile is the fact that he should even be exhumed so that the poor boy can be buried decently Probably, yes. like a human being yes. than being cramped into a casket like somebody who had no impact or lived no life I, I think that is that is the most uncharitable thing to do and he deserves that kind of justice mm -hmm. then now we they, they say we want to hold a peaceful walk and then they come out and say that there is an intelligence report mm. that it will be hijacked by criminals and every time we continue to hear this line but sweetheart my dear law enforcement the right to peaceful assembly and protest is a fundamental yeah. human right yes. in every democracy yes. And when you have intelligence that it is likely to be hijacked by criminal, the responsibility and the onus is on you to work on that intelligence and clap down on the criminal mm -hmm. uh, 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 criminal gang to ensure that that process is not truncated. Rather than truncating or usurping the entire protest of peaceful work as a, for the interest of a criminal few. Mm -hmm. Just like maybe senators are trying, lawmakers are trying to hold a sitting to mm -hmm. deliberate on a bill mm -hmm. and they say there is a security risk and so therefore they should they not hold it. it so we are at the mercy of the criminal elements in the society mm. so when decent and good people want to take any action they have to always consider if evil people want to do something and mm. if they really want to do we the good ones will have to hold on mm. that is the kind of system that we have enabled you like very you very rude to so many <laughs> people even if you haven't seen him before yeah. when you hear the name you'll you be say, like ah she can't stand you, boy. <laughs> but how you know they used to cover up for you, yeah. Loki? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so when you hear me, but I hear you, Molly, okay, 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 <laughs> which <It> makes sense, <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> you gotta try it makes sense. yeah, That's because cool. my dad even had issue with that mobile name. Oh. I had to now break it down to him and tell him that Mo M O H is Mo, like in Yoruba, mm. and B is bright, and A is ant, and D is destined. Oh. So he was like, Wow. But to you, what really was it? It was you being cocky, right? So it was you knowing that you were. I, I don't want to answer. That, <laughs> no. But lucky, lucky, my people knows. Mm, okay. That's nice. Yeah. That's okay, like, and you're also friends with Bella Shmoda. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, how that relationship and what's what, like, what's what do you enjoy about being friends with him? Mm, no, he's real. That's the first thing. He's very real and um he's ready to learn he's ready to to, to like to support every time like yeah. he's not even now like since we were very young um, like how long have you known him oh uh, let me say four years okay. if i'm not messing him yeah, that's that's before you like you even blew, blew yeah 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 sure now he's always um last two oh, okay so me yeah. i used to like he used to pay me to come and perform <laughs> Are you serious?